Two people are dead after shots are fired in a Mobile apartment complex. We'll have a live report. Plus, the groundwork is being laid for renovations to the GMNO building. And forecasters keep their eyes on the horizon as hurricane season churns up the Atlantic. Hi, I'm Anissa Sinters. And I'm Bob Gripp. Thanks for joining us tonight. It's hard to believe we're talking about hurricanes again, but this is the first day of hurricane season. And for the next five months, the Fox 10 Storm Team will be keeping a sharp eye on the Gulf waters. One thing is sure, though. Officials with the Emergency Management Agency say they are ready if a hurricane does skirt the coast shores again this year. Now, tonight we go live to Gulf Shores, where Renee Diles has a look at a new and improved evacuation system. Renee? Bob and Anissa, now, anyone who lives in Gulf Shores or visits here knows that this is something that we talk about every year at the start of hurricane season. But these reminders are especially important this year because there are some new changes that affect folks in this area, changes that will hopefully make this hurricane season a little less stressful. Hurricane George was a Category 2 when it hit Gulf Shores last year. Nearly eight months later, repair work is still underway in both the private and public sectors. But it's not just the storm damage that creates major headaches for Gulf Shores emergency officials. In the past, we've had problems with evacuation, and not so much people leaving, but uh, people being made to evacuate when they really didn't need to evacuate. Officials say thousands of unnecessary evacuations can also pose a safety hazard by overcrowding roads and shelters. National weather officials are predicting this year could be even more devastating on the U.S. mainland than last. With an estimated nine hurricanes predicted, Gulf Shores has come up with a new evacuation plan. And we feel like with the evacuation zones that we have now, that will eliminate some of the problems we've had in the past. And we'll only, only evacuate those who need to leave. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh -huh. Property owners are being asked to pick up their evacuation decals as soon as possible. There are 17 zones for Gulf Shores, Fort Morgan, and Orange Beach. Many residents and property owners say when it comes to hurricanes and beachfront property, you have to be prepared and just hope for the best. Everything I'm reading is negative, but I have a positive attitude. We've been through Hurricane Danny and Hurricane George, and I'm counting on it going somewhere else. Of course, the evacuation route for Gulf Shores is still Highway 59, and there is not much officials can do about that. But they are hoping that by these new zones will mean there will be fewer cars on the road should we need to evacuate this year. Bob and Anissa? Thank you, Renee. Hurricane season is serious business for everybody. That's why you should turn to the Fox 10 Storm Team for your weather information. Let's go now to meteorologist John Ed Thompson, who will be keeping a close eye on the Atlantic, the Gulf, and the Caribbean this hurricane season. John Ed? Well, Bob, of course, we first look at the Gulf because that's the nearest water mass to us. Then we look down into the Caribbean, then we look off into the Atlantic. At this time of the year, nothing usually happens too much here in the Gulf or in the Western Caribbean. Nothing is happening out there right now. We do have some clouds out in the Gulf, some rain showers, and some rain showers are moving on shore. But that has nothing to do with a tropical situation, either the Gulf or the Caribbean. But Dr. William Gray of Colorado State says we're going to have some storms this year. Matter of fact, he says we're going to have 14 named storms. If we use all 14 of those names up, we'll get all the way down to Nate. The first one this year will be Arlene, then Brett, then Cindy, then Dennis. And we'll work our way down. How far we go down, we'll have to wait and see. And we'll wait and be watching the golf for you right here on Fox 10. Anissa? Thank you, John Ed. A domestic dispute turns deadly in West Mobile today. It happened at an apartment complex on West Drive. Fox 10's Jane Smith has been following this story all day for us. She joins us now from the murder scene live. Jane? Anissa, two men are dead after an apparent murder-suicide. It happened around 10 o'clock this morning here at the Willow, Willow Creek Apartments in West Mobile. Police say 55-year-old Patrick O'Hara went to his estranged wife's apartment and was let inside. According to police, O'Hara opened fire on his wife's companion, 48-year-old Terry Burdett, pumping five bullets into him, including three in the chest. O'Hara then apparently turned the gun on himself. Neighbors say this is usually a quiet area. They say they never expected something like this to happen here. Not, nothing's ever happened like this since I've been living here. I've been living here for two years, and this is the first. We don't even have anybody fighting or anything over here. So. Now, it is believed Patrick O'Hara is the same person who made news when his store, Nature's Pet Shop, was closed down by the SPCA in 1996 for what it called deplorable conditions. We spoke to the SPCA today, and they said O'Hara had been selling pets 
at the flea market in West Mobile, and the SPCA says it was investigating a number of complaints against him. We're hoping police will release more information so we can pass it along to you tonight at 10. That is the very latest from this murder-suicide. Anissa? Thank you, Jane. Ambulances and fire trucks blocked one lane of traffic on Interstate 65 this afternoon as rescue crews worked an accident. It happened near Criola at the exit 22 in the southbound lane. A semi and another vehicle were involved. The semi landed on its side, spilling its load. At least one person was killed in the wreck. Police are still investigating. Labor Secretary Alexis Herman was in Montgomery today talking to the Alabama legislature. It was a standing ovation as Herman made her way up to the podium. Today, she spoke to lawmakers about the Job Corps and child care in the workplace. She also took time out to single the Mobile, single out the Mobile delegation and to say there is no place like home. Herman is the first African-American woman to be honored with a joint session of the Alabama legislature. One of Mobile's most interesting architectural landmarks will soon be undergoing a much-anticipated facelift. The historic GM&O building has been vacant and deteriorating for 15 years, but the city of Mobile bought the former train station four months ago with the plan of turning it into a transportation hub. The city council today approved the installation of a security fence, which is just the beginning of the multi-million dollar renovation. The first phase involves stabilization, and you might notice going uh, up 110, uh, Interstate 110 there, uh, some of the bricks and so forth that are on the building. And we're going to be kind of taking it down and uh, starting off with a uh, grand restoration process. That work begins August 31st, but in the meantime, the city will be negotiating with potential tenants, including the Greyhound bus line and some retailers. Now, the work is almost finished, and the artifacts are starting to arrive. Folks at the Civic Center are gearing up for a jewel of an exhibit called The Treasures of Nicholas and Alexandra. Their last photographs, the, the diary that Alexandra wrote, the last page of her diary, the last day of her life, we've got on view in this exhibition. Plus, some local four- and five-year-olds put their creative minds to the test. Okay. And then tonight at 10, violence in the movies. The government wants to know if it's teaching kids how to kill. WALA Fox 10 wants to congratulate all of our Oprah contest winners. And here's a special congratulations to Joyce Jemison. <gasps> who won the brand new truck from Bayview Ford Lincoln Mercury. Thanks for watching WALA Fox 10. And thank you, Bayview Ford Lincoln Mercury, for that brand new truck. My father started the business in, I think, 1932. We've had Blue Cross probably 60 years at least. That's a picture of me when I was about five. I think Blue Cross and Blue Shield is the best value you can get in health care, period. That's me when I was 20, learning to sew. I run the business like my father ran it, and Blue Cross has been with us the whole way. Wireless service for members of the Fox 10 Action News team are provided by Digif, the smartphone company. Need an escape? Come to Sonic. Remember how Grandma used to spend all day making you pie? Do I? Then you've got to try our coconut cream and banana cream pie shakes. Handmade thick with the great taste of coconut, fresh filled bananas, and sweet bits of graham cracker crust. So good, you'll think Grandma herself made them just for you. Tastes just like Granny's, except ours fits in a cup holder. Sonic America's, Sonic America's. Speaking of escapes, try our toaster sandwiches before they're all gone. Meet Doug Phillips. He's an environmentalist with a dog named Turkey a nature show called Discovering Alabama, and his own personal energy company. One that's teamed up with the Department of Energy to better protect the air, land, and water. And it's working. Emissions are already down by 37%. Wish you had a personal energy company like Doug? Well, if you live in Alabama, you probably do. Alabama Power, a southern company. The Belmont is coming Saturday, June 5th, to Mobile Greyhound Park. The Belmont, Saturday, June 5th. Now, Fox 10 Action News at 6 p.m. continues. They were murdered 80 years ago. Now you have a chance to see how they lived. I'm talking about Nicholas and Alexandra, leaders of the last imperial family in Russia. Today, the first artifacts from the exhibit arrived in Mobile. 
the exhibit will feature 400 artifacts that depict the lifestyle of the Romanovs, from political diaries to the coronation crowns. You may remember from your history lessons that the Romanovs and their five children were brutally murdered during the Russian Revolution of 1918. How a loving family got caught up in international world politics, a revolution at home, social problems, and ended up being brutally murdered. And now, over 70 years later or so, uh, we're able to look at that story with new eyes and come to new conclusions about what really happened. The exhibit of Nicholas and Alexandra, the last imperial family of Tsarist Russia, will be on display at the Civic Center's Expo Hall from June 12th through October. There won't be any classic films shown at the Sanger Theater in Mobile this summer. That's because the University of South Alabama has decided to cancel the summer classic film series for 1999. The theater needs renovation, and it'll take some time to figure out what needs to be done. Mobile Symphony and other various organizations will continue to use the Sanger for its functions. No word on when the renovations will actually take place. And still no end in sight to the strike at Ingalls Shipyard in Pascagoula. Union workers began picketing early last month asking for higher pay and better benefits. Negotiators have met with corporate officials several times, but so far haven't been able to reach a compromise. Meantime, little or no work is being done at the shipyard. Well, it was a pretty day here along the coast. The question is, will it last? Fox 10's meteorologist Johnette Thompson will tell us what to expect this evening. Johnette? Tell you what, a pretty good evening is on the way. We're going to look at radar and show you what's out there right now and what to expect for tomorrow. Coming up right here on Fox 10. At Professional Collision, we're focused solely on repairing, not selling vehicles. Our goal of total customer satisfaction isn't compromised by all the distractions associated with dealerships. We back our commitment with continuous employee education, state-of-the-art equipment, and fast, friendly service. No dealer or independent can match the speed we'll get you back in your vehicle. And because we're a direct repair facility, we can process all your insurance requirements for you. Had an accident? Take it to a professional. Professional Collision. A typical car insurance agent is on the job during regular business hours. On the other hand, GEICO insurance professionals are on the job 24 hours a day. GEICO. A 15-minute call could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Yeah! Paying too much for car insurance isn't any smarter. GEICO. A 15-minute call could save you 15% or more on car insurance. I'm sitting across from a person who's getting ready to write a large sum of money for an automobile, and uh, I've purchased vehicles before, and I know exactly what they're going through. It can be nerve-wracking. The no-hassle, no-haggle price allows Saturn to be so much at ease with the customer and allows us to treat everyone so fair. It really doesn't matter whether you do a short-term lease, a long-term lease, short-term financing, long-term financing, or cash. Once you're in the Saturn family, you're in the Saturn family. I am going to see this person again. You see them at the supermarket, you see them in the restaurant, so we want to make sure they are completely comfortable with the entire process. So fast, Butch. We noticed your bucket of bland chicken from the road. Try this from Popeyes. It's locked and loaded with Cajun flavor. Tasty bird. I'm sure they're gonna like it where you ladies are going. Start the car. Now at Popeyes, get a 10-piece box of chicken. Your choice of spicy or mild for only $7.99. Now, Fox 10 Storm Team meteorologist John Ed Thompson. You're looking at a live picture at Gulf Shores, Alabama. Beautiful afternoon as the sun is going down in the west. Not a bad day out there around Baldwin County. Matter of fact, the rain showers that they cropped up over an hour or so ago have dissipated. Matter of fact, about an hour ago, we had some rain right here over appropriately Hurricane Alabama, right along Interstate 10 and to the south of there. But as you see, it has cleared out. Let's move off to the east, and we'll show you what we do have out there right now in the panhandle of Florida. We do have some scattered showers coming up through Jay, Florida, and into Escambia County, Alabama, back here toward Crestview and all along I-10. 
So if you're traveling across I-10 to the east on toward Tallahassee, you're going to be running into some showers out there on this first day of hurricane season. Let's see what we'd normally have around here on the 1st of June. Well, the normal high would be 88. The normal low would be 68. The low today was 70 in Mobile. The high only reached 85 with a little bit of cloud cover out there. 83 in Pensacola for the high and 72 the low this morning. The warmest we've been, we did that back in 1998 when we reached 98 degrees back in 1984. We dropped all the way down to 49 degrees. How about that for a cool morning? 75 was the low this morning in Pascagoula, and 88 was the high. The current temperature reading outside in our Weather Watcher site is like this. Downtown, we have 86 degrees. We've had no rainfall today, and the wind is blowing lightly from the south at about 4 miles per hour. Our humidity is at 68%. Let's check our temperatures around the south. Well, first look, though, look at the satellite. We've got some severe weather coming out of Oklahoma, rolling across Missouri, on into the Ohio River Valley, all the way from western Kentucky through Illinois, Indiana, and Ohio. And some rain showers have occurred today across central Tennessee and down into north Alabama, as well as the showers that have been streaming up from the Gulf waters across the panhandle of Florida through eastern Alabama into western Georgia. So we're going to get a few hit and miss showers out there coming in from the Gulf throughout the nighttime hours. Temperature wise at this hour, it looks like this. Currently, it's 88 degrees at the airport in Mobile, 84 in Pascagoula, 82 in Milton, 85 in Crestview. And as far as humidity is concerned, 66% in Milton, down to 59% in Crestview. That's going to be going up because they've got moisture all around them. 70% at the Naval Air Station, 59% in Mobile, and 70% in Pascagoula. Now, here is your map for Wednesday. We're calling for rain showers up and down this frontal boundary as it pushes out of the Midwest on across the Ohio River Valley. So showers to our north. It doesn't look like a whole lot going on around here. It's going to be sunny to partly cloudy tomorrow. Tonight, we're going to be partly cloudy with a slight chance of rain, and our overnight low is going to be, well, it kind of jumped on through that time, but here's your extended forecast. On Thursday, the high will be 89. We're calling for a high tomorrow of 86 degrees with an overnight low tonight near 70. Again, the chance of rain overnight, less than 20%. The chance of rain tomorrow, only 20%. It looks pretty good out there. It's getting better and better. Thanks, John. Thanks. Maybe the beginning of hurricane season, but baseball season is already in full swing. And the Braves just got a big boost on the roster. Lance joins us now to tell us about it. Lance? That's right, Anissa. I tell you what, with Glavin and Maddox having tough seasons, the Braves need John Smoltz. He is back tonight, and we'll talk about it when we get back after this. It's the best time of the entire year to buy a pool, spa, or tub from Spa and Tub Manufacturers. Our Memorial Day Madness Sale is held over, but hurry, these are the absolute lowest prices ever. Save hundreds on our locally manufactured spas and pools during the Memorial Sale that is so big, we added another week. And with $20 down and $20 per month, you can afford a luxurious pool or spa and not get soaked by payments. Shop Spa and Tub Manufacturers for guaranteed savings during our After Memorial Day Madness Sale in Chickasaw, Alabama and Goshe, Mississippi. When it comes to electricity, one kilowatt is pretty much like another. So what makes ours special? We're local. So we're as concerned with the community as we are with your energy needs. Oh, but you know that. Because you know us. We're your friends and neighbors in a place where that still means something. Energy and the power of human connections. The second lady, Chipper Gore. Now her latest revelation, a very private battle back from clinical depression. Next, Oprah. My name is Jack Lee, and I've had Blue Cross and Blue Shield my whole life. Or as far back as I can remember, I guess. <laughs> my parents had Blue Cross and Blue Shield. When Emily and I got married, I immediately added her to the policy. So she's had Blue Cross and Blue Shield for as long as we've been married. This is the reason for Blue Cross and Blue Shield. Uh, my daughter, Alexandra, my little boy, Niccolo. Blue Cross and Blue Shield has always been there my whole life. It's a Lee family tradition. It's interesting what a man will do to avoid buying a new suit by convincing himself that he's still a 32-inch waist or that no one will notice. Well, people notice, which is why we offer the kinds of styles and advice that'll feel as comfortable as your favorite chair. After all, if people are going to notice, it should be for the right reasons. You're going to like the way you look. I guarantee it. The Men's Warehouse. Call 1-800-776-SUIT. 
Both Alabama and Auburn are heading for the NCAA Super Regional Tournaments this weekend. The Tide will host LSU Friday and go in ranked seventh in the latest collegiate baseball poll. Auburn travels to play Florida State. The Tigers holding on to the 15th spot in the poll. To the bigs, the Braves playing the Colorado Rockies tonight up at the Ted. John Smoltz back in the Bravos rotation. He comes off the DL list to get the start tonight. A little bit of butterflies, you know, eagerness to get back out there and try to regain that form that I had. And, uh, you know, that's the toughest t thing to do as a pitcher when you're off for that long to regain it and uh, just rely that you make pitches before you make pitches when you come back. All right, we'll have highlights tonight at 10 o'clock. The Knicks and Pacers continue their Eastern Conference final tonight. Indiana coming off its first playoff loss of the season as New York handed them a three-point loss in the series opener, and the war of words has begun. In our minds, it's no surprise. You know, you, we know they're going to hold and, and grab a lot, so we're expecting that. That's what happens, you know, and, uh, you know, you have to grab and hold. You grab and hold on offense. <laughs> so, I mean, that's what it's all about at this point. They're just politicking for calls the next game, that's all. Um, they hold just as much. They bump, and, you know, we didn't complain. Even if we would have lost, we're not looking for excuses. That's part of the game. Okay, and highlights of that game tonight at 10 o'clock as well. Meanwhile, out west, the Spurs and Trail Blazers off today. They'll resume their series Friday in Portland. San Antonio up 2-0 in the best of seven, thanks largely to this desperation three from Sean Elliott with nine seconds remaining. It was the first lead of the game for San Antonio as they win it. Question is, how will the Trail Blazers respond? Uh, with this much on the line and, and for them to play the way that they did and come out with a loss, um, it's got to take a lot of wind out of them. It was uh, pretty much pandemonium last night in the locker room. Everybody's pretty fired up. But, um, you know, we, we have the kind of team that uh, we're going to enjoy it for a day, and then we're going to get back to work, and, and we know that we have two more games to win before we move on. Okay, this series now shifts to Portland for games three and four, Friday and Saturday night. To tennis, Andre Agassi is in the French Open semifinals. The players had more comebacks than Cher. Reached his first Grand Slam semi in three years by routing Uruguayan Marcelo Filippini. We show you some highlights. Agassi in the near court, just dominating. Look at the forehand winner there. Filippini's ranked 233rd in the world, so you don't get cute against someone like Agassi. Filippini trying the little drop shot. Agassi gets there, and there's your winner. Let's move ahead to match point. Agassi ended it in style with the ace. 6-2, love. It lasted only an hour and 12 minutes. Agassi will now meet unseated Dominic Perbati in the semifinals. Another comeback story brewing on the ladies' side of the draw. Steffi Graf taking on the second seed, Lindsay Davenport. A front line forehand there. Graf going three sets against Davenport, but she pulls it out 6-1, 6-7, and 6-3. Monica Sellis up next for Graf. Monica Sellis, also a comeback yeah. story there. So some of the ladies and Andre Agassi, mm -hmm. you know, names we haven't heard about too much in the last couple of years, playing True. pretty well over there in Paris. Makes it more interesting to watch, too. Yeah, when we know the names of these people. <laughs> exactly. Yes, thanks, thanks. Still ahead tonight, some little kids give new meaning to the learning curve. We'll be back in two minutes. Excuse me, what? Yes? Can I get a bite of that Subway foot-long sandwich? No. Okay. Big appetite? Go to Subway. Our footlongs are meals in themselves with your choice of meats and veggies. They're bigger than any burger. Hurry into Subway for our footlong turkey breast fresh value meal. With baked lays and a 21-ounce drink, it's under 10 grams of fat. Subway, the way a really big sandwich should be. To make my family happy, just add water. But that can mean plan awards. So I use new Compound W One-Step Pads. They're waterproof and cushioned. Compound W One-Step for plan awards. It's new, it's waterproof, it works. Ow. Little hurts can happen anytime, so I keep Dermaplast ready all the time. It's the number one pain relieving spray used by hospitals. And it works fast, too. So for all those hurts that can happen anytime, keep Dermaplast ready all the time. Summer feels a little cooler, feels I'm a little lower, but with a good sense way of life. 
Alabama Power can help you keep your energy bills down. With a Good Sense heating and cooling system, you can save up to 40% on your cooling bill. For information on 100% financing, call 1-800-990-APCO. It's the Good Sense, Good Sense way of life. From Alabama Power, a Southern company. It's the oven torch. Think of the tips. Run, pizza boy! There's a better way to deliver oven fresh pizza. The Domino's Heatwave. It's like a portable oven for the best tasting Domino's ever. Now at Domino's, get a large pizza with up to three toppings plus an order of cheesy bread for only $11.99. That's a large three topping pizza and an order of cheesy bread for just $11.99. Call now. Summer is a time for students to put away the books and concentrate on fun. You know the rules. No learning, right? Well, Carol Hunter found out that's half right for some Mobile preschoolers who are having the time of their young lives and at the same time developing their minds. Yeah. Art, it seems, is everywhere you look. You just have to know where to find it. Do jellyfish have long tentacles? Good. I was almost going to say the word, but you knew it. Tentacles. What shape are the tentacles? And these young artists already know that straight lines are one of many shape families. And that's not all they've learned at the Mobile Museum of Art summer camp. Now tell me what kind of shapes do you use to make these fish? Oh, two triangles and then a cave um, with water in it. Oval. That's right. These five-year-olds are mastering geometry through art. And teacher Jill Dabb says seeing the world through artists' eyes improves learning on every level. We now know with brain research how much is done early on that children develop all that they need by the time they're five and six years old and mostly before they're four. So this age group is at their peak. It's also never too soon to begin appreciating the works of more established artists. What is this made out of? Hey. No, cool. I didn't that. It's made out of dog Do you see tags. this great one? It is perhaps too early to tell whether there are any budding Picassos or Renoirs in this group, but even if there aren't, the nurturing of their ability and their new appreciation for art will make both their world and ours a little better. If just children enjoy and appreciate art for art's sake and what they get as a personal experience from art, I think that's more important than becoming a great artist. But I do most of all is teach them to see with their own eyes. And it is that lesson, she hopes, they will never forget. In Mobile, Carol Hunter, Fox 10 Action News. Mobile Museum of Art's summer art camps run through the end of July with classes for ages 4 through 13. For more information, call this number, 343-2667. And I want to say a special thanks to my wife tonight for saying I do 25 years ago today. And they're so cute together. You ought to see them. Happy anniversary. <laughs> and that's it for Fox 10 Action News at 6 p.m. We'll have more local news, sport, and weather tonight on Fox 10 Action News at 10 p.m. We'll see you then.